All right, guys, next connection we're going to do here is a bimini twist, which is uh, very applicable for kind of your heavier applications. That way you can um, swap out your wind-on leaders if you want to fish 60, 80, 100, so on and so forth. But just an, an easy way to have this uh, connection on your, your braided line, so that way you can easily swap out to whatever wind-on you want, depending on what you're fishing and how you're fishing. So we'll walk through that real quick here. Basically, you're going to take your braided line here, Make a loop however long you desire it and pinch the top here. And then you're going to just start kind of twisting it on there 15 to 20 times. Let that go. Got that. So then we're going to continue to pinch it. And the key part here is to maintain pressure while you're doing this. We're going to keep, keep pinching this up here and then we're going to kind of work the twist up here using our nail there working it up the line there we get about to right here we're going to take our tag in and kind of do a 90 degrees maybe even a little down there so that way it's going to start wrapping itself back over itself here once it gets there we're going to do a half hitch on each leg here So you can see better and then for a little bit of edit, added extra security here you're gonna just you can do a uni or just a clinch knot there just to secure everything in place finally trim the tag in so it goes to the guides there easily and that gives you your bimini twist all right guys last thing we're gonna go over here is uh, we're just gonna go over some basic crimping that we would use on any kind of big fish application. Um, just a surefire way to secure your connection and have uh, as least failures as possible. So basically what we're gonna do here, we're gonna get our crimps. We're using 150 pound fluorocarbon on this particular instance. So you got your two crimps. You're gonna get a piece of chafe tubing here that protects, just an added protection there for the fluorocarbon on uh, rubbing up against the hook or whatever you might be securing your crimp your crimp line to but you're going to feed that through there maintaining the the chafe tube there inside the socket of the hook take the line back through the first crimp giving yourself enough room here to go through the second crimp Two crimps just added, once again, just another level of security there. If for some reason one were to slip. And then this is the instance where if we, uh, if we had a lighter, we would be lighting the end of the line here. What that does is it just causes the line to kind of mushroom up there. And in the event, uh, for some reason, if your crimp were to slip, the line would get caught on the crimp rather than just pulling straight through. So make sure you definitely do that when you have the opportunity to. Um, just let, once again, another level of comfort, security there when you're fishing for these big fish, whatever it might be uh, in your particular area. But then we're just gonna kind of squeeze the line on down here. We wanna get it nice and snug up against this piece of chafe tubing. So that way there's not a whole lot of movement, but you still have the hook can swing freely, but not too much to where it creates another rubbing point. And then once we get it to where we want it, we're going to lock down this first crimp, line it up with whatever size crimp you're using on your crimpers here. And then this is going to be a double crimp, so we're just going to kind of get right on the inside of the edge there. Not all the way on the edge, but right on the inside. Crimp it down once on the outside, slide it onto the other side there. Once again, right inside the edge there, just like that. And now we're going to repeat the process there. Right inside the edge. One and two. And then, like I said earlier, in a perfect world, there would be no tag end. 
it would just be a little mushroomed piece of line right there. So that is your crimp there for whatever kind of hook you're attaching to. It could be a mackerel, a flying fish, um, surefire way to, to mitigate failures and super easy to do.